It's time to catch a cheater. Only on the Jubal Show. Kaylee is on the phone today for To Catch a Cheater, and today is a little different. Kaylee thinks that her stepdad might actually be cheating on oh. her mom. Huh. So we'll see if we can catch him in a second, if he is. So Kaylee, what's going on? Why do you think your stepdad's cheating? Oh my goodness, you guys. Ugh, I'm, I'm hoping I'm wrong. I'm hoping it's all my imagination. Um, my dad, he's not my dad, he's my stepdad, but he's the only dad I've ever known, so he's my dad. He's been with my mom for like 15 years now. They've always been happily married. I mean, I, you know, it seems like a good situation. I've never even thought about it twice, to be honest with you. But a couple of weeks ago it was my birthday and we were all over there, you know, celebrating my birthday. And I, you know, I brought one of my closest friends, Alicia, with me. I don't know. At one point during like the celebration, you know, there weren't a lot of people, like maybe 15, 20 people there. I kind of see over in the corner, Alicia and my dad, like, it just seemed a little flirty, I guess, a little too intimate. And I love Alicia. She's one of my dearest friends and she's a beautiful, beautiful girl. And she's very sweet, but she's also a little flirty and promiscuous. Okay. So, <laughs> so I was like, uh, red flag. Let me just keep that in the back of my mind. Whatever. Um, nothing, you know, nothing, I mean, everybody was there. It wasn't any, it wasn't anything crazy, but it just caught my attention. Mm-hmm. So then a couple of days later, her and I are hanging out. All of a sudden, her phone's kind of like blowing up with Jim, Jim, Jim. And she's like, <laughs> you know, giggling and answering real quick. And I'm like, who the hell is Jim? And she's like, oh, no, just some guy I'm seeing, whatever. Keep in mind, my stepfather's name is Jim. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. So, oh, yeah. But I can't, I, like I said, he's always been so weird to my, but to my mom. I just can't even imagine that he would. <laughs> So I just need to be sure. <laughs> I need you guys to tell me. <laughs> but so she's been one of your best friends for a while, though, right? She is, and I adore her. And I and I honestly have a lot of faith and trust. But but so then that means she's also known Jim for a while, then too, right? She has actually, yeah, she has. She's, I mean, since we were young. So there was never a thing that you felt between her and Jim, like ever until now. No, like I'm telling you, Jim has always been dedicated to my mom. Like yeah. I've never even thought about there's never been it was just that one little second you know sometimes your spidey senses go pay attention yeah, spidey senses. <laughs> yeah. oh man that, what an awkward sense well that also means jim like watched the other girl like grow that's up, really and that's great. also like yeah. your dad like i don't know like, have you noticed anything with him i mean he seems a little awkward around me I, I you know i've seen him a couple times since it happened and i again i didn't bring it up because i was hoping to get some proof and i feel like the only way i'll get proof is through you guys you know you know, like something anonymous like this where I'm not actually directly asking him because if he lies to me, how am I going to know? Yeah. So I, I, he seems normal. I haven't, but he just seems a little around me. Like I can notice that he doesn't want to really talk too much directly to me or he kind of like, I'm busy. I gotta go do something or someone's calling or any excuse to kind of, which mm-hmm. is unusual. He's usually very sweet with me. And you know, he's been, like I said, he's just been an amazing, perfect dad. And I, uh, something's up. I don't know what to do. <laughs> but he's still good with your mom though. Right. As far as I see, yeah. My mom hasn't said a word to me. We talk every day. We're very close. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I obviously I didn't say anything to her about it, but um, no, she hasn't said a word to me. I mean, he's been normal. Nobody said anything, at least as far as she's concerned. And I, you know, I can't ask her. Yeah. This is so uncomfortable. Like, this is hard. You have no, because what do I do? Like, if they are, if they did. Oh, oh yeah. What, yeah. What oh, do you do? I don't know. Maybe uh, we don't spiral into it. Know for sure. <laughs> All right. Well, you told us what grocery store he's a rewards card member at. So we'll play a song, come back and then call him and pretend to be from the grocery store and say that every month we choose one rewards card member at random who gets free flowers delivered from our floral department. We'll see if he sends those to your mom or to your friend. What's your friend's name again? Her name is Alicia. Okay. All right. We'll play a song, come back, get your to catch cheater next. Right in the middle of To Catch a Cheater, if you're just joining us, Kaylee is on the phone, and Kaylee actually thinks that her stepdad might be cheating on her mom. So in a second, we're going to call him and pretend to be from the grocery store that he's a rewards card member at and say that every single month we choose one lucky rewards card member who gets free flowers delivered from our floral department, and we'll see if he sends those to Kaylee's mom or to someone else. And before we do that, Kaylee, why don't you refresh everybody's memory on your situation? So my stepfather, who is, for all intents and purposes, my father, because he's been my only father my whole life, and he's a wonderful father, um, was a little too flirty with my little bit slutty friend. (laughs) (laughs) That's a description. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, my God. I love her, though. I can't. Anyways, yeah. Okay, so you saw them. They looked flirty, and you think something might be going on because of also a text message, right? 
also, yeah, I was with her a couple of days, a couple of times, and I've seen some text messages from a text messages from a Jim. Jim is my stepfather's name, and she kind of seems real happy to get them and answers real quickly. So, you know, I asked her, she's like, "Oh, just some guy that I'm seeing." She kind of blows it off. So, I don't know. I'm just curious, and I don't, you know, I'm, I'm concerned. I don't want to ask her. I don't want to ask him because I don't want him to lie to me. And I feel like you guys, you know, will help me get to the truth. Okay. And what's your mom's name? My mom's name is Jennifer. Okay, so we're hoping that when we call him, he sends these flowers to Jennifer. Yes. Okay, yes. here we go. You ready? Yes. Hello? Hi, this is Corbel calling from... I was looking for a rewards card member named Jim... Um, okay, yeah, that's me. Jim, how are you? Please don't hang up. This is not a marketing phone call. I'm actually calling to tell you congratulations. You're this month's lucky winner. Oh, okay. What did I win? Every single month, we choose one lucky rewards card member who gets free flowers delivered from our floral department. Um, it's our way of saying thank you for shopping. You've won 36 long stem red roses, a box of candelier chocolate, and cards to be delivered to anybody that you want. Um, okay, cool. Here's how it works. I can get the information in just a matter of minutes over the phone. Um, okay, um, I guess. Great. Do you know who you want to send them to now, or do you need me to call you back? Um, send them to Alicia. Put, thank you for making me feel so young, and um, take care of yourself. Okay, great. Well... Thank you very much. Um, and guess now it's time for me to tell you that this is not the grocery store. My name is actually Jubal from a radio show. It's called The Jubal Show. Yeah. Hi, I'm Nina. Hi, and I'm Victoria. And I'm your daughter. Dad, how can you do this? Dad, really? Like, what about mom? Uh, Hello? Hello? Dad, I can't believe you did this. We do a segment called To Catch a Cheater, and your daughter, Kaylee, is on the phone. She thought you might be messing around with her friend, Alicia. Apparently, he is. Jesus. Um, I can't believe you did this. <laughs> what? <laughs> she did this. What did you do, Dad? I mean, really? <gasps> Alicia, you've known you were the kid, for goodness sake. I mean, I don't know what to say, man. I mean, yeah, we, I mean, nothing has happened between us, but yeah, I was, I was talking to her. I mean, it, I shouldn't have. I know your mom would probably kill me, but... I, um, I don't know. She started talking to me and she, I guess she made me feel a certain way that, you know, she made me feel like attractive again and wanted and it just, I don't know, it kind of triggered me and I just started talking to her. I think it was inappropriate, but I mean, nothing happened. I just was talking to her. She was telling me about this guy that she was with and yeah, I just kind of gave her an ear to to spill her story to and a shoulder to cry on. Yeah, I mean, I don't I don't think I did anything wrong. I didn't touch her. Nothing happened, and there was no. It was just talking. We just and it was texting. We never hung out or anything like that. I just texted with her and T texting with another woman. Do you think Mom would agree with that? I mean, you're acting like I was. Sending her yeah. or something. <laughs> Were you? Well, of course not. All right, you know what, Dad? Since you seem to be like, you know, I don't know, fishing, swimming around here, not kind of getting to the point, let me text Kaylee directly right now and tell her that you finally told me the truth and see what she has to say to that. Whoa, that's not necessary. <laughs> Send. Already sent. If you're doing nothing wrong, Jim, why would you care if she texted her friend? I'm sure she's going to blow it out of proportion and be dramatic about it and everything. She like, said she, she didn't know how her. to tell me. Oh, I didn't know how to tell you. It's her reply to my text. I didn't know how to tell you. <laughs> yeah, Jesus You're blowing this out of proportion. You're being dramatic. You're my mother with my dearest friend. How am I being dramatic? How is that blowing? How should I take that? Oh, that's wonderful, Dad. I'm going to have a new stepmom. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. She can be my sister's stepmom. No, like, that's want? not. That's not what it was. I mean, okay, who's I that? Mom, you or me? Because one of us is telling my mother. She she says it only happened twice. What only happened twice? Oh my god! 
Why are you talking to her about this? Um, that's the problem here, really? Well, why don't you just tell her? Yeah. She doesn't have to talk to Alicia. Well, it's none of her business. Well, you're cheating on your wife with your daughter's friend. Yeah, I'm not cheating on my daughter, so my daughter needs to stay out of it. Let me text mom then and see if she thinks I should stay out of it. She might. Let me see what mom has to say about this. I have to go. What? This is ridiculous. Wait, wait, let's see what mom has to say. Hold on, wait, she's bubble. She's answering back. Give me a second. Um, he hung up, Kaylee. Oh, my mom's answering. I can't, she hasn't answered. I mean, she's answering, but I can't see what she said yet. You're really telling her right now? What am I, what am I supposed to do? Like, that's horrible. Maybe go talk to your mom now. I'm going to go to her house. Oh my, I can't believe. I, I thought, I thought it was going to be like, oh no, we're just friends. Ah, something. I don't even know what I expected, but. Well, you did your mom a favor. What? That's messy. 15 years they were together. 15 years. Well, this is. <sighs> I'm so sorry. Actually, I'm not surprised tough. with her, but yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good luck, Kaylee. Let us know if you oh need any help God. with anything, okay? Thanks, guys. I'm going to see my mom right now. Okay. The Jubal Show's To Catch a Cheater.